This is a video I'm doing to show all the changes that I put into Prometheus 2.0, including the user interface and how to use it. So first of all, uh, changes to hardware is that uh, now, you know, now it's one cohesive unit, one piece of hardware that's all connected into a box. So it's a lot nicer. I put in switches so that you can control, you know, what you want to turn on and off without unplugging the device. So starting with this one, this one controls the displays up here. This switch controls uh, whether we want to put uh, power into the bed vibrator. And then this switch right here turns on the Logic Raspberry Pi in the back over here. Okay, so first thing I want you to note is that uh, right now the time just reset and that's because uh, it's actually getting the time. So this clock right here is actually an independent Arduino unit that has its own uh, RTC, but it's not that accurate. So I'm actually, uh, I modified the program to grab the time from uh, NTP on the Raspberry Pi and that's sending the time via serial USB up to the clock itself up here. And okay, and then because of that, you'll be able to see in a second that the time is actually fairly accurate. So I just gotta wait for it to restart. So as the according to my clock, the time is six seventeen twenty six, and uh, if we check uh, an online time calculator over here. It's uh, 627.49 and you can see that eventually corrects to the right time. 627.54. Yep, so it's very close because it's getting time from the internet. Now I just want to showcase the user interface portion of this. So as you see I revamped the user interface. It's got like a nice dark background. And so let's just try setting a time right now. So let's set an alarm for 6 29. It's in about 40 seconds. And we want PM. So we just submitted the new time, and now we have the ability to set the sound and vibration independently. So I'm just going to go ahead and set both uh, just to show you what happens. So in the meantime, I'm going to explain uh, the clock is the logic behind the clock like I said is controlled by the Raspberry Pi and so the Raspberry Pi has a control over this bed vibrator over here but it's also connected via um, an optical cable to my speaker over here so now that 29 has been reached could see that both the bed vibrator and the sound started playing so let's set an, another alarm for 6:30. this time around uh, just to hear better I'll just set just the vibration as well so yeah um, because of that this the clock on its own is uh, standalone but it's able to output to any sound system so in my case I'm outputting to my Marshall sound system over here and so we'll check out the bed vibrator. We'll see if it's uh, how close it gets to 630. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And it's vibrating. Cool. So. Um, another feature of the UI is that I can set this is right this right here it shows the time uh, in a virtual mixie display but it also functions as a, a snooze button so we'll try snoozing it and this should be set to 640 10 minutes later 
So as you see, this got set to 640 and still set to vibrate, so that all worked out. Now I'm just going to turn off this alarm so it doesn't go again. And so under settings, uh, right now uh, a few things I changed is that it lists the current track title. So it's a song called Wildfire by James, James Mercy. And uh, so if you want to set a new track, you just click this button right here, choose file. And you get a nice pop-up screen. So I'm just going to go to this uh, file I've already picked out over here. And then set this. Now, it's a song called uh, Panic Chord by Hoochie. It's pretty nice. And so it's asynchronous uploading. So the moment I picked the file, it just started uploading. And uh, it'll tell, it'll, it'll completely switch the UI once it's finished the upload. So let's wait for that for a second. All right, and now it uploaded. So I'm gonna reload the page. And now you can see that the song is uh, Panic Chord by Hoochie. So just to try that out, let's set another sound alarm for 32. And this time we'll, we won't set the bed vibrating, we will just set the sound on its own. set the sound to be something different so that definitely worked now the last thing I want to show you is uh, this thing right here so it's pretty cool this has the ability to change the color of the LED on the top not of the color switches uh, but of the Nixie displays themselves so first of all I've turned that off uh, just so I can show the time a little better but I'm gonna go ahead and enable the LEDs and right now as you can see I have it set to like a uh, frosty blue color but uh, from from the user interface I'm able to actually you know use a type of color wheel to change what kind of color this is so I'm gonna set it to maybe eh, something like a green color how about that and so if I submit this then voila it's set this as uh, that color that I just set and I also set it to something like you know Let's do red right here. This is the reddest it's gonna get. And then once I submit it, then it should turn red. And submit. And now it's a red color. So yeah, these are the features I've added to the clock. Enjoy.